Hey y'all, this is Brandon Layman, Silent Tears here. I'll get your paintbrush ready. I'm going to be using mostly a number one, uh, excuse me, not number one, but one inch painted brush from Bob Ross. Uh, I like his brushes. They're really good. Um, he's got some really great quality brushes. You probably never have to buy too many more brushes if you get some of his stuff. Uh, you can use his fan brushes. They work for a long time and he has the conditioner and I use that too. So it really does save you cost. Uh, just on a happy buck or two. So I thought we'd do something a little unusual here. We have a white canvas we're starting off with. And I'm going to start off with the sky. Uh, maybe in a bit of an odd place. But I'm going to call up a, an old idea that I had. Uh... Just remember it for memory. Uh, it's an old idea I had about a rainforest. I thought it might be fun to do some rainforest painting. Maybe we have a mountain in the background, but this is the sky, and I have a very light blue. You can use either light blue uh, or uh, gray blue. And I use uh, Georgian oils, Dollar Rowney Georgian oils. You can either paint a little or you can paint a lot, a uh, little or a little bit. Because uh, when, you're, when you're little, it means so very little. It means, a little means a little, but so very little when you're little. It means a little bit. So, I don't want to round that off too much. I'm going to make a mountain in the backdrop there. And give it a small peak up here. And my sky. I want it to start right about there. Outline that a bit. And some sky here. I use the light blue, but these are Dollar Rowney Georgian oils. You can either paint a little or a lot. They have the, a little or a little bit. They can have the small tubes or they have the larger tubes, which is the ones I buy because I like to paint a little bit. So uh, you can get your, your favorite colors and smaller prices. And they have a wide array of colors too. I really like how oh, they have all those those colors that are most of the times you don't think of. I'm gonna add a little space in here. This is where uh, my tree is gonna have a limb beside it needs to break to the sky a little bit right there. And you can paint over that light blue somewhat and blend it, or you can incorporate it into some of your your work. Um, I'm trying to think of how you could incorporate it right now. I have, this is a fairly new design that I came up with, so uh, feel free to use it though. But you may find it somewhat doing some troubleshooting. I'm trying to figure it out. What's on canvas? But it's your world. This is this is your painting. This is. Just like drawing, you can do it. You draw, you can draw on canvas and color. It moves, it moves, it moves just like drawing. You can use a design side that I have here. You can use them to sell if you want to sell them. Um, you can. You, you can draw them, you can paint them, anything you like, but just the videos are copywritten, and that's all. Uh, I was going to go do some, some purple here, going into some cobalt violet. Now, I was using the gray-blue earlier. I may not have said that enough. Uh, this is cobalt violet. This is Dollar Randy Georgian Oils, just loading it on both sides. 
I'm not gonna make my mountain. Mm, I'm gonna make my mountain purple. But it's gonna be a volcanic mountain. But it's no red dripping off of it or anything. I'm not doing any red. That's not this time. Not any red on the on the purple. Not on the cobalt pile. fade off into the distance. Right, you can make the peaks as you see fit. You don't have to use the same thing that I'm doing here, the exact same thing. And you can, you can modify it somewhat and come back and do some more and do a different something something you haven't done or thought of before. All sorts of things. My mountain covered in purple here. Let's see about. Some cobalt violet again. I'm adding it to the brush just on both sides. We'll get a deeper hue toward the foreground because as you come forward, your colors should get darker and darker. Uh, they fade into the the backdrop when he's lighter and lighter so it does help you judge distance in that aspect this is a very unusual looking mountain I've been around for a long time maybe maybe the wind blew right there just right and maybe that ancient volcano just made its formation and it's dormant now it's just cool Cool mountain, just a really, really good mountain to paint. So this is the Congo of Africa. Something pretty interesting is that it's uh, mostly a republic. You can find many different types of animals in the rainforest there. It's one of the last few rainforests on Earth, and to protect them too. So I'm going to try not to travel there too much. Too much travel isn't good for too many other wildlife there. So up here I'm going to add a little purple as well. Because I have a neat little surprise for you. And with this purple. And I didn't quite get it right last time. So I'm going to get it right this time. So we're going to experience some little canvas type of magic with some cobalt violet. Still using the same brush, nothing's changed. Just adding more paint. Uh, just thought you might enjoy seeing the painting rather than seeing my palette too much. of that tree. It's going to be darker on the forest floor too. Maybe this is from a clearing in the, in the Congo. You just see the mountain in the distance. Another portion of the landscape just started. more violet, some more of this cobalt violet. I'm just going to go clear across the top here. I'm just going to carry on and go clear across the top here. I'm going to make something dangling right there. Oh, a vine, perhaps. Just, just right out there, just right in the air like that. Hope you can see that pretty well. Pretty much got the picture of, uh, of going with this painting. And we're going to have a forest floor, it's mostly green. Uh, if you get really ahead of me and you really feel like it, you could paint little 
little lizards or maybe a gorilla hiding behind a tree or a bush or something. Uh, maybe a broad fern you might care to paint. Uh, just all sorts of different ideas I'm just tossing out there. I'm going to darken that floor somewhat where it comes forward. It's a clearing, so I'm going to want to fade in some of that green. So fading out the purple. I'm going to keep it pretty dark, though. Maybe that, that tree is just shading it. This is not a cave. This is not a cave. Not at all. I don't want anybody to get that feeling or anything. It's not not at all. It is, uh, some people might not enjoy small spaces and it even makes them feel a little uncomfortable. Well, it makes me feel a little uncomfortable, but I don't even mind elevators all that much, but we... I'd be getting them. Just have to try to get to the floor as quickly as possible. We have the foreground here. I'm going to paint that corner purple to the cobalt violet. And let's see. Let me get another brush here. I've been trying to, oh, I've been trying to, to, you wash my brushes as I, uh, go, and it does help somewhat, uh, not have to wash all your brushes at the end, but, I mean, it's, uh, it helps to have a, one or two extra brushes, that way you're not constantly washing. My Bob Ross brushes, I do have quite a few of those because I love them so much. I'm going to blend that in a bit. And I'm going, I went into some Terra Verte is right there, what I put right there. And this one right here is the Viridian. It's a darker more transparent hue and that's because it's shading right there. I want to add that in sparse places. Uh, some of the little areas I'm not too sure about as far as my trees go. But we're getting there. We're doing a little canvas magic here. I'm going to pull up on some of that Make a little grass, trees in the backdrop. Mm. That doesn't look too bad. Changing the brushes one more time to a lighter color. And I have here the cadmium yellow pale hue and a Bob Ross one inch brush, just right there. And that might help you figure out which brush to use as well, using different kind of brushes. And we're gonna start up here just tapping. When you add a little yellow, it just sort of comes to life. Make little ridges in your mountain where you've added some green, It's separate colors and it paints a little trees back there too you know I got that almost lost my whole trees I need the trees they don't need the trees and just tapping downward on angles because I have away from myself a bit and made some unusual volcanic mountains because it's just not something you always see. 
So you can put that yellow to the canvas and it really just makes it makes it alive. Makes it look like it's really growing and really happening right there before your eyes. And if you mix it and you pull it through, it turns brown. So you can actually make a tree right out of the purple, the cobalt violet, and it just happens. It's pretty interesting to watch. It's your own little magic right there on canvas. And that's a big tree too. That's a really big tree. That's a that's a tree that's been around for a long time. Just growing in the rainforest. Enjoying rain and mist. All sorts of things. There are a few limbs sticking out here and there. You don't even have to use a small brush, really. You can use a bigger one. You just get away with painting a little fence with it. I'm not sure that you'd want to paint that fast, but I thought I would do a quick one. You see, if you uh, press into the canvas upward, press into the canvas and upward uh, with the brush, and the bristles fold under, it makes a really great grassy patch. That's really great right there. Maybe there's some moss growing on the trees or something all through there. Okay. Need some more of that cadmium yellow. And there is other tree should be coming into view right about now. It's just your canvas magic. You can make things happen from colors. Things are never really new, but you can do it. You can you can draw. You can draw right here on canvas. You can watch an earlier show and you saw where maybe I then you can draw right here too. And there are a few little things hanging right about there. So there is your mountain. And I'm going to add a few little flowers just here and there. There's little flowers. Just to change up the pace a little. Maybe there's some in the trees little vines growing there that just made their way up to the tree and on around little color there one more and well that about does it so I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one uh, this was a rainforest uh, in Congo, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And this is Brandon Lehman, Silent Tears. Have a good day, and enjoy drawing.